The edge of my charcoal ran against the grain of the paper, the gritty feeling vibrating softly onto my fingertips. The lines of black ran downward along Kate's jawline, the shadow smudging under my fingertips as I blended out under her chin, cascading into her long and delicate neck. My curls dangled untamed against my face as usual. I sighed in annoyance as they got in my way of my view for the fortieth time since I started a few hours ago. I pulled my hair back into a loose bun. The stool creaked under my weight as I leaned back, tilting my head to scrutinize the drawing before me. The clock read 1.32 a.m., and I couldn't fall asleep to save my life. I pulled my foot up onto my stool, resting my elbow against my knees as I stared at the large pad of paper resting on my easel. My thumb pressed into my cheeks, and the palm of my hand covered my jaw. In the portrait, Kate stared up through the window, streaks of light leaking in through the curtains, casting rays down over her, illuminating sections of her face amidst the darkness of her surroundings. After months of working on the details, it still felt like it lacked something. But I'd yet to figure out what it was. It would probably be best if I tried sleep again, but the thought of lying in bed alone with my thoughts terrified me. I leaned forward, taking the stick of charcoal in my hands, adding more details into her hair. But the moment I touched to the paper, there was a crash of trash cans outside the apartment, and I jumped, dropping the stick of charcoal onto the floor. My heart thumped wildly as I stared at the wall and separated me from whatever it was that made that sound outside. The walls were suddenly caving in around me, adrenaline-fed hallucinations danced in the corners of my eyes and the dark places of my living room, and the weight of how alone I was in the apartment crawled over my skin. I glanced to my front door. It was locked. Still, I felt the same. Unsafe. <laughs>